We continue our team coverage with 10 News reporter Allison Ash in National City, where those high winds fanned flames near the Plaza Bonita Mall. And Allison, to make matters worse, the area is now a crime scene. Yeah, it is. That's because they found a body in that fire. The last fire engine just now leaving. You can see back behind me, that's uh, the new police command post. Homicide detectives are back there. But let me show you what firefighters were dealing with a little bit earlier. They found the body as they were fighting the fire way down there in that ravine. Some very rugged terrain. The flames could be seen as they singed the thick trees and bushes deep in the riverbed near Plaza Bonita Mall. But what was most visible was the thick black smoke that nearly shut down the 805 freeway and made it sometimes hard to see Copter 1 making several water drops. In less than an hour, the fire was under control, but it took three more hours to put out all the hot spots. During that time, firefighters discovered a body in the burned out riverbed. We have had reports that there's homeless encampments out here, so it's unknown if it was somebody that was just uh, trapped uh, and couldn't get out of the, of the location or if there was suspicious in nature. In Santee, the fire that torched a canyon near the Carlton Oaks Country Club Tuesday came back for a second round today. This time, a dozen families were asked to evacuate. Right here, they just flame coming out in the backyard, and in my backyard, it just flame coming out and a cracking sound and feel like just coming this way. But firefighters were able to keep the flames away from homes. Within hours, as blackened trees were cut down, families returned. Meanwhile, CAL FIRE CREWS ARE HOPING THE WIND LETS UP SO THEIR AIR TANKERS CAN GET OFF THE GROUND. RIGHT NOW, IT'S JUST TOO DANGEROUS. BACK OUT HERE LIVE IN NATIONAL CITY, JUST A FEW MINUTES AGO, A WOMAN CAME HIKING UP OUT OF THIS RAVINE. SHE SAID SHE USED TO LIVE DOWN HERE. SHE WAS IN TEARS, SAID SHE'D ALREADY SPOKEN TO HOMICIDE DETECTIVES, DID NOT WANT TO SPEAK TO US. HOMICIDE DETECTIVES SAY THEY WILL BE OUT HERE PROBABLY ALL NIGHT LONG. STILL CAN'T EVEN DETERMINE WHETHER THE BODY THAT WAS FOUND DOWN THERE WAS A MAN OR A WOMAN. WE, OF COURSE, WILL LET YOU KNOW JUST AS SOON AS WE DO. WE ARE LIVE IN NATIONAL CITY. ALLISON ASH, 10 NEWS. All right.